everyone welcome back to the problem on scotch oak mechanism in the last lecture we have drawn the acceleration uh, velocity polygon for the given scotch oak mechanism and determine the unknown velocities of slider p and velocity of slider c velocity of slider p is 1750 millimeter per second and slider c is that is of sl slotted length is 1000 millimeter per second now let us draw the acceleration polygon for the given mechanism now for that we prepare the table so first link is link op crank op whose length is 0.2 meters that is radius of rotation of p relative to o is 0.2 meters angular velocity is 10 radian per second clockwise so centripetal acceleration of p relative to O is equals to radius of rotation OP into omega square is equals to so 0.2 into 10 square so 100 into 0.2 is 20 meter per second square and tangential acceleration of P relative to O equals to radius of rotation OP into angular acceleration of p relative to o so this is equals to op is 0.2 meters so 0 0.2 into angular acceleration is 30 radian per second square so into 30 so this is 0 0.2 into 30 is 6 meters per second square is the tangential acceleration now next link is slider pq for slider pq it will have only sliding acceleration of p relative to q which is unknown it doesn't have fc and ft because it is not rotating as well as slider cg slider c slides with respect to g it will have the sliding acceleration fs cg which is also unknown so 0 0.2 into 120 and 0 0.2 into 36 so let us start with the acceleration polygon now for acceleration polygon fixed link g o will have zero acceleration so I will plot point O G zero length vector to indicate the acceleration of fixed link. The next link is link OP. For link OP, let us first of all plot FCPO which is equals to 20 meter per second square, and to it we will add FTPO which is 6 meter per second square. Now we have to take some scale. So we compare these values and take a scale of 1 centimeters equals to 5, 4, 3, 4, scale of 4 meter per second square so first vector FCPO radial acceleration of P relative to O that is centripetal acceleration of P when it rotates about O so acceleration of P when it rotates about O it will act along the radius of rotation OP and it will be directed towards the center of rotation P sorry this is wrong towards the center of rotation O so centripetal component of P relative to O is directed from P to O so its direction is parallel to OP towards the center of rotation O that is downward and we know that vector will start at O so we know the start point O of this vector and the length of this vector will be 20 divided by 4 5 centimeters so I will take this point somewhere here OG in this direction 20 meter per second square divided by 4 is 5 centimeters in this direction 
so this is radial component of p relative to o which is parallel to link op that is parallel to radius of rotation po directed towards the center of rotation o now to this we will add its tangential component ftpo we know that ftpo is always perpendicular to fcpo now ftpo always acts in the direction of alpha and alpha for this is given in clockwise sense so ftpo will go in upward direction we have to add ftpo to fcpo so the tail of the vector ftpo will lie at the head of vector fcpo in this direction the length of vector is 6 divided by 4 so 6 divided by 4 is 1.5 centimeters so this is FTPO in upward direction and the resultant will be given by resultant F P O total acceleration of P relative to O F C P O plus F T P O F P O vector O P gives the total acceleration of P relative to O. We will always remember that while adding the vectors we have to place tail to head of the vector so that they get added F C P O plus F T P O. So this is total acceleration of P relative to O so arrow towards P. The next is FSPQ, sliding acceleration of P relative to Q which is vertical. And we know that the vector passes through point P. We know that the vector passes through point P in vertical direction. So this is FSPQ, slider P slides in vertical direction with respect to q we don't know the magnitude of the vector so we don't know the length of the vector also we don't know the whether the uh, slider is accelerating or retarding so we don't know the direction of this sliding acceleration component whether it is going upwards or downwards from this it is clear that slider p relative to q is moving upwards but we don't know that whether it is accelerating or retarding so this vector is of arbitrary length. Next vector is FSCG, sliding acceleration of C relative to G, that is sliding acceleration of slotted link is horizontal and we know that the vector passes through point G. FSCG will pass through point G. So this is FSCG passing through G parallel to the line of stroke of slotted link. Now this vector is FSPQ and this vector is FSCG. So this will pass through point Q and this will pass through point C. And we have seen that point C and Q are on the same slider that is slotted link. So this point is point C or point Q. This is acceleration of C so represented by vector GC. This is acceleration of P, so arrow towards P, sorry, 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 this is acceleration of P, so arrow is downwards towards P, so arrow is towards P, because acceleration of P. Now from this acceleration polygon, let us determine the angular uh, sliding acceleration of P relative to Q and acceleration of C relative to G. So sliding acceleration of P relative to Q is given by length of vector QP into scale factor. So let us measure the length of vector QP. It is 1 centimeter. So 1 into scale factor is 4. So it is 4 meter per second square is the acceleration of slider P in vertical direction. Now acceleration of C relative to G slotted link length of vector GC into scale factor 
length of vector GC is 5.3 centimeters into scale is 4 so this is equal to 5.3 into 4 is 21 meter per second square now look at the velocity polygon slider p is going upward direction but its acceleration vector is downwards that means slider p is retarding and for slider c or slotted link slotted link is moving towards light right as indicated by this vector its acceleration vector is also towards right that means the slider is accelerating slider p is retarding because its velocity vector is upward and acceleration vector is downward thank you